welcome back to the Brianna and Devin toy channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own pop socket from scratch. So yeah, big thank you to Bonnie Govind for requesting this video. Um, sorry that I took kind of a long time to get to it. Again, I'm pretty busy and I had other videos that I wanted to film too. So yeah, it's awesome that I get to film it today though, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully you find this helpful. It was kind of hard to find like an idea of a pop socket that actually contracts, like, you know, closes in on itself, like the real pop sockets, but I think this one works just as well and it definitely will look like the real thing. So without further ado, let's just get right on into the video. Okay, so the materials you'll be needing for this amazing DIY are um, a water bottle and make sure it's empty. I basically just drank the water and then I'm just using the water bottle. You're gonna need like this much of it basically like at the top. So you can save the other part of the water bottle for something else if you need it. You're also gonna need some scissors, some cardboard, and you're really only gonna need like that much. So really just like any cardboard scrap. And you're also going to need some paint if you want to like add some color to your pop socket, make it look more realistic. And you can really do anything to customize like the design of it. So you could even like print out something or like a picture that you want. It's really up to you. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your water bottle and some scissors and basically just start cutting this bottle. I'm just gonna kind of go right in and start by taking a little slit. And I'm just gonna kind of cut up to about, I would say, where the line is at first. Obviously, the, the pop socket's probably not gonna be this big, but I would just kind of cut along the first line that you see on your water bottle. Once you've cut around that, you should be left with two parts. We do not need this part, so goodbye. So, now you have this part, and this is basically gonna be what your pop socket is gonna look like. So, obviously you should probably have your phone with you as well, but now pop sockets aren't this big and you could keep it as big as this. You could really keep as much of the water bottle as you want, but for me, I'm probably going to cut about halfway down and then just make another cut around the whole thing just to downsize this thing a little bit. I actually just measured out the size of it compared to my real pop socket and it is actually a little bit smaller than that. So I'm gonna go all the way down. Okay, so now I have this much of the pop socket thing left. So we don't need this anymore either. But as you can see, it's kind of like choppy in some areas. So now I'm just gonna kind of clean up all of those sharp areas and just kind of make it more of a circular shape. Okay guys, so this is my pop socket right here. As you can see, since we cut the cap on, we can unscrew it if we need to, like this. So if you want to take your pop socket off, you can definitely do that. So yeah, it's going to be really easy to work with. But now, anyway, since we have this, now we're going to go ahead and cut out a cardboard shape to go along with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my pop socket face down on the cardboard and then take a pencil or something else to draw with and just trace around the outside of it. So now just cut this out. Okay, so now once you've cut the circle shape out, it should look like this. And this actually kind of looks like a pop socket and it's just gonna work like this. So it's gonna be really cool. So here we have it. Um, this would be like the absolute minimum that you could do with this. All you would have to do is just use some glue or tape to just tape it to the plastic bottle cap thing. But I'm gonna definitely go the extra step. Now, if you wanna customize it, first off, I definitely recommend gluing this disc to the um, bottle thing first because it'll just make your life a whole lot easier. So I'm just gonna use this clear Elmer's glue. I forgot to include that in the materials you'll need, so sorry about that. But you could use any glue you want, I think. 
Except I would probably not use um, the, what's it called, glue stick glue because that glue is just like not as strong I don't think. Here and then I'm just going to plop this thing right on top of it. You definitely want to make sure that it's getting all the glue so make sure that the glue is like at the very perimeter of the pop socket that's there all I have to do is just hold this down for a while um, okay guys so I actually found a phone that I'm just gonna use to model this but it's like a really old phone so now I'm gonna customize my pop socket so I got some paint that I found um, I don't actually have any white acrylic paint at the moment which is very weird but it's fine I'm just gonna use this buttermilk shade just so you guys can get the idea so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this paint right here so I could use it. And basically, I'm just going to paint the whole thing in this color. Um, obviously, if you're making this, you can make it whatever color you want. It really does not matter at all. But yeah, I'm just going to paint it and you can paint whatever color you want. Okay guys, so this is what my pop socket is looking like so far. As you can see, I completely covered it in this like buttermilk color, except for the bottom. I just left the bottom blank because I feel like it'll bond better to the um, case if I just leave it blank. But now I'm going to work on the top of my pop socket, which is going to be like the really cool design part that you can customize however you want it to be. And I'm going to make it my three favorite colors, which are pink, blue, and purple. And I'm actually just going to use this like piece of density foam. You could also use like a sponge or something if you want to do this thing with that I'm doing too. But basically I'm just going to get a little bit of paint right there. Then I'm going to get my sponge. And then I'm going to dip it in the paint. And basically I'm just going to kind of pat it off a little bit. And then I'm just going to to kind of put it on my pop socket with the sponge it's gonna do this like really cool spongy effect like I don't know if you guys can see that or not it's really cool hopefully you can see that all right but I'm basically just gonna do that with the three colors and hopefully it'll look nice I'm really hoping that it looks cool and I just kind of want to give it like a galaxy effect you know so this is what the pop socket looks like now and basically I'm just going to wait for the paint to dry and I'll get back to you guys once it is all dry. Okay guys, so now once your pop socket is pretty much all dry, I'm going to go ahead and make it shine. So basically I'm going to take some of my clear glue and as long as your glue that you're using turns clear once it is dry, this is fine. And you can also use like some Mod Podge, that might, even might work better. But I'm basically going to take my glue and just pin, paint a thin layer of it over my entire pop socket. You don't have to do this, but it's just going to preserve the paint and make sure it doesn't crack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so it is the next day and I let the pop socket dry completely. So this is what it looks like. I absolutely love how it looks. Like look at those colors. I think it turned out amazing. And it actually looks like a real pop socket. Obviously, unfortunately, it cannot like close in on itself, but I still think it looks great. So now the last step of this DIY is to attach it to your phone case. So again, I'm just using this really old phone that doesn't work anymore just to show the video. So. I'm actually going to not use glue for this because I don't want it to be like permanent, but you can use glue, you could use tape, you could really use whatever you want to attach it. I'm just using like one of these sticky things from those clips, not clips, but like hangers that are used to hang stuff on the wall, if you know what I mean. I think these are pretty strong, so hopefully it works because I know that in real pop sockets, basically the adhesive is just like a sticker. So basically, if you're going to use this like me, um, you would probably want to cut off this like little flappy part right here, but I'm not going to cut it off just so I could take off the sticker once I don't want it anymore. But you basically cut that off and then also cut off this little strip up here 
so you would only be left with the sticker only. But again, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do that. So basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off both of the stickers. So now it's just sticky. I'm going to apply it directly to this thing. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the phone. And again, this could just be cut off if you're like gonna actually use this. But now that's basically it. This is your pop socket. It looks so cute. Like if you're calling someone, so adorable. And it's actually really durable. Like it's not falling, the phone is not falling. So I definitely recommend you use like a really strong sticker or glue. But yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And also, if you wanna set it down so that your phone stands up, it works just like that as well. As you can see, you could just like watch a YouTube video or something. It's just amazing and I absolutely love this DIY. Again, I wanna thank Bonnie Govind so much for giving me this idea um, and requesting this video. I love how it turned out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel to see more fun videos like this one. And once you've done that, click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And you can also comment down below any video suggestions or anything you want. So yeah, that was about it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!